Okay, what's up guys? Um, since I am sick, if you can't hear it in my voice, I'm telling you now, since I'm sick, London's gonna take over for the video today. So, yeah. Enjoy his company. Bye-bye. What's up guys? Uh, this video is gonna be about how Kaylee told me she was pregnant, how I reacted, and how I told my parents. Uh, anyway, let's just get right into it. Um, uh, anyway, she told me at like 2 o'clock in the morning, I was sound asleep. Uh, she Snapchatted me and sent me a picture of the pregnancy test. And when I saw that, I mean, it was crazy. I just couldn't, I didn't know whether to be scared or nervous or happy. It was all those emotions at the same time. Scared to tell my dad, but then again, I was happy because I was having a kid. So I, I mean, it was just I don't know. It was a uh, it was pretty complicated for me at that time. Um, but then again, it was awesome, you know. Anyway, she Snapchatted me and then called me very shortly after. Because obviously I was sleeping, I didn't hear the Snapchat. Then uh, she, she was sounded pretty nervous on the phone, saying, "Oh my God, London, I'm pregnant." You know, just how anybody would react, I guess. Anyway, I, I mean, I really couldn't go to sleep after that. Um, it's just I just stayed up thinking about how I was gonna tell my dad and all this. But uh, anyway, we waited a couple days to tell everybody. So, it was, uh, I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, it was just, I can't even explain it. It was, it was crazy, it was crazy feeling, crazy thoughts. But, how I told my dad, I, uh, said, I texted him, because he was at work at this time, I texted him, and he works all the time, all day. But I texted him and said, I can't even remember exactly what I said. I know I sent a long paragraph. I was telling him about how Kaylee was pregnant and that I'm going to do what I have to do to uh, take care of her and the baby. Um, I'm a, I'm just going to try my best. You know, I was just trying to explain to him that I'm going to do whatever I can to be as good as a father as he was. And, you know, of course, so when he sent his message back, it was three times as long as mine. Uh, he was yelling at me, cursing at me. He was just, you know, what any father would do, you know, if their daughter or son was having a kid. It, I mean, I, I mean, I would freak out if Rhea had a kid when she was my age. I mean, I couldn't even imagine. He was, he was mad. He was, he was furious with me. He's texting me, calling me, blowing my phone up. Man, I was scared. I didn't want him to come home, but when he did, Kaylee was over at my house. And uh, we both, we all sat down at the kitchen table and we talked about it. And he finally cooled off and he seemed like, he seemed leaning more towards okay when he actually got home. And he cooled off a little bit, more like he was excited to be a uh, grandfather and all that. I mean, that's pretty much how all that went. It... It all worked out in the end. I, mean, I thought it was going to go horrible, you know. And at this time, I was still living with my dad. But it, it worked out. It was it was great. Um, and when Kaylee was actually giving birth, he was crying and everything. He was, he was just happy and full of emotion. So it was, it all worked out at the end. It was, it was good. It was a good day. He, he's, he's happy that I had her now. He's, He's always trying to buy her things and, you know, what grandparents do. Um, it's, uh, it's, I mean, if you guys ever plan on having a kid or if you have one already, I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, but if you guys plan on having one, I would recommend you guys, you know, wait and at least wait till you're 18 or 19. I'm not telling y'all to have a kid at all when y'all are 18 or 19, but if you're trying to have one, at least wait till you're at least 18. Um, wait till you can, you know, afford to have one. Uh, it, it's definitely, it's rough. It's, it's sleep, 
is terrible. You never gonna you're never gonna get to sleep. We don't go to sleep till like two or three o'clock in the morning, almost every night. Uh, we wake up at about ten, you know, because we try to get up at ten at least, because, you know, I'm not trying to sleep all day. That sleep sleep's got to be the worst part, you know. It's, I mean, that's really it. And then you'll never get to hang out with your friends anymore. Which really ain't a big deal. It was not a big deal to me. It's not a big deal to Kaylee. Uh, you just pretty much get over that. Because, you know, if your friends can't accept you for who you are and what decisions you make, then they're not your friends, you know? So, all that's cool and it's all fine, you know? It, it, you're young and life goes on. But, that's all I really got for this video. Uh, I'm going to try to record more. Uh, by myself with you guys, uh, you know, do some Q&As with y'all, anything y'all want me to do, I'll do it, but I'm, I'm trying to get better at this, I know some of you say that I'm too serious, or, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm trying, you know, I'm really not, I'm, I'm just, I'm not that great at this stuff, I'm not that great at talking to people, really, in general, or explaining things at all, I'm not that good, but I'll, I'll try for you guys, so. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, drop a comment, tell me what I can do better and whatnot, and peace.